I said I'd document this thing, so I'm gonna get to it. Got the whole front end torn apart, front clip, I should say. And uh, one of the reasons why is because of these front fenders are rusted out all the way up to here, which usually they're gone down here. And this one is actually solid down here, but uh, rusted out up high. And then the other one is gone down here. Then I still have the original grill, and these are getting hard to find also. Um, if you can find one in a junkyard, that you know that's ideal. But the ones that you can buy online, they're junk. They do fit, and you can make them work, but they're nowhere near like the originals are. This one's got a crack in it, so I'm going to fix it. And then, of course, typical bottom of the door rust. I just I just did one of these and I think I did a video on cutting that out and rebuilding it down there but we got lucky and we found four doors in the junkyard with no rust in them so we got four doors two fenders and then uh, um, I'm gonna actually just pull the dents out of this hood all the hail damage I don't know how many that is, maybe 50, but it's a lot. But they're steel hoods, and they're and they're worth saving. And this is something that I always do. Why? I, I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure you can buy these and find out, like online, what the measurements are and how, where they go. But I do this anyways, and then I take a picture and save it. But I'm gonna do something custom. Um, here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the, i'm going to paint this area black and this pinstripe first and then i'm going to go over it with uh, the decals and the pinstripe and we're going to paint the truck and then i'm going to pull the decals and pinstripes off um, that way it's black underneath and then i can clear coat everything and it'll all be paint instead of decals and then there's this beast to the dent. This one's gonna be fun. I actually like stuff like this. Um, this is just surface rust, it'll clean off. And then I'll start pulling and yanking on some stuff. And then what I'll do here is I'll match it to the old tail light and make it look nice. And then it's getting some other custom LEDs. I think we're gonna put LEDs in here. definitely a mess so one of the reasons why we went this route knowing that we're going to replace the fenders anyways and the doors we're going to do some suspension work there's a u-joint down here that just got annihilated so we're going to replace that we're going to do um, a leveling kit and uh, check out the other suspension components so it makes easy access doing this i'm going to stick the truck on the lift and then um we'll be able to access everything we can so these fender wells too were beat up and right now is a good time with the um the inner fender well out to get in there and pound them straight again so this front fender is rotted out and you know this isn't too hard of a fix right here you could cut this and replace this uh, sheet metal, which I've done before, but uh, we have a another fender, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the other fender. But I got the typical rust here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I used to hand make these pieces. All right, I, I do hand make these pieces and weld in like an 18, 19 gauge sheet metal, but... I'm gonna get uh, some donor metal out of this front fender. If I have to cut up higher, I'll have, to, I'll have that body line. But I don't think I will. I think I can probably just cut this out here and this section down here and get in there and see how it looks. But this is good. Good metal. Well, I got it in the air. 
think I'm going to start tearing apart. Suspension parts. U joints. I'm going to try and keep updated here. One of my biggest problems is, is I forget that I'm going to document something. But anyways, little update. I got the um, leveling kit and shocks installed. Front U joints back together. Pulled the muffler off because it had a giant hole in it. So I put a MagnaFlow glass pack in there. It sounds really good. Got the bed off. Right now I'm just trying to straighten out the, the uh, front of the bed. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint back in here. Back of the cab and the front of the bed. Put the bed back down. Uh, might clean this up in here a little bit. I plan on recoating some of that black. So um, I might go ahead and do that too, but I usually wait until everything else is done and then I'll tape the truck, the whole truck off and then I'll paint the undercarriage just to kind of protect from the surface rust and stuff. But oh, got a tornado alarm. So this, uh, the front bed panel was destroyed. And I've hammered it with a, a two by four and a hammer, and I got it looking a hell of a lot better. Still not perfect, but saved. So I let these cure for about 10 hours, and they look great. It's that perfect satin sheen I was looking for. Okay, update. Wheels some tires mounted. Working on some fender flares. I wanted the factory style so I can paint match. But it's looking tougher by the day. <laughs> 